Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Monica. Um, today I wanted to review some um, items that I purchased a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, that I hadn't had a chance to get around to review because I've been so busy. But now I am getting over the flu. And so, yeah, I've been stuck in the house for a week and I actually have time now. So anyway, let's get started. No need to ramble. So the first item that I want to talk about is the Givenchy, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, it's the Gloss Interdict Vinyl. And um, I purchased this from Sephora. Let me tell you how much it was. So at Sephora, this uh, gloss is $30. Um, and let me read you the description of what the gloss says. It's a shiny, luminous lip gloss in a range of 10 intense and vibrant colors. It is free of parabens, which is important. I know to a lot of people that's important to me. Um, the gloss is a lip gloss with medium coverage for high pigment looks and extreme shine. Black rose oil keeps the lips soft and supple with an absolute feeling of comfort. So I'm gonna put it on, um, but I do want to review one more product before I put it on because I'm going to use this prior to putting the lip gloss on. So while I was in Sephora, the um, the um, worker, <laughs> she convinced me to get this as well. She says that you would put this on before you actually use the gloss. And so this is the Rouge Interdent Vinyl as well. Um, and it is I'll tell you how much it is in Sephora it's $34 so you know initially I was like mm, I don't need that but the deal was if you get both of these you get um, one of the Givenchy um, mascaras for free um, which I wasn't planning on talking about that but I might as well show that to you as well And this is just the mini, what the mini mascara looks like. Um, it's okay. You know, it's nothing about it that I thought was like mind blowing. So I wasn't even reviewing that today because I got that for free. So anyway, um, so they work together. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the gloss that you put on first. So my lips are very dry, especially getting over the flu. I'm probably still a little dehydrated, but it looks black. I don't know if you can see this. So I'm gonna put this on first. And I really like it. I don't know if you can see how much moisture that has added to my lips just that quickly. I really like this a lot. Okay. So this, um, as far as um, pros, I feel like it's really glossy. Um, it's easy to apply. Uh, cons probably would be the price. I don't know if it's worth $34. And, um, you know, not everyone has dry lips like I do, so they may not need to apply this before applying lip gloss. So now, here is the Givenchy lip gloss. And you can get different colors. Um, I'm trying to see what color this is. Where is it located? It's number six. I don't know what color that is, but it's a very, it's like a neutral color. I try to stick to, most of the time, I try to stick to neutral things. So when you open it up, it's, you see, it's really liquidy. I guess it can almost be like a sticky, but uh, it doesn't feel sticky on your lips. And so I'm gonna apply it. It's a really pretty gloss. So there it is. It's really glossy, really pretty. I like it. I think it was worth $30 or whatever. Um, but the one thing that I do not like about this gloss is I was keeping it in my uh, handbag, in my makeup bag, and I noticed that there was some in the bag. And so when I looked, it kind of, you probably can see it like it leaks around it a little bit. So mm, that's one thing that I was just kind of like, I don't know about, you know, you have to make sure it's really tight. And even when it's tight, 
you can see as I you see as I close it how it's coming around like that so because of that reason I like the gloss but I just don't know if I will purchase it again because I can't have anything getting all over everything else in my bag so you know you check it out yourself and see what you think so that's the two glosses of Givenchy now the next thing I wanted to review um, was this Too Faced um, Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. So I have really, really oily skin. And um, so I always try to find sprays that will help mattify my skin so I won't be so oily. What I usually use is the Urban Decay D-Slick. But I thought I would try something different just to see. And the funny thing, well not funny, but one little perk about this is that it smells like peaches so it smells really good so you have to shake it up really good before you apply it and you just apply it in the mist and it smells so good um and i have been pretty pleased with it it has helped to control control the oil on my skin um let me read you a little bit about the description of it um, peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray, Peaches and Cream Collection. Um, it's a refreshing oil controlling setting spray to keep makeup in place. It's infused with exclusive comfort matte technology. This revitalizing formula provides two optical effects, a matte finish for decreased shine and a soft focus to blur imperfections. So um, I like it. It really has controlled the oil on my face um it offers up to 12 hours of shine control and lasts up to 16 hours and it smells like peaches and sweet fig cream so it's always good to smell good and then another thing i like um the formula does not have any parabens or sulf sulfates in it so i thought that was a really good thing this is 32 dollars at sephora for the four ounce i want to say this one is like um the small travel size. So I think it was like maybe $15. It wasn't it wasn't $30. So anyway, those are those three products I wanted to review. I'm going to throw in also um, this foundation that I've been using. So I usually love the Smashbox um, hydrating foundation. But I went to Florida and they had a, a NYX store. And I heard people talking about the foundation can't stop, won't stop. And I thought I would give it a try. So the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation, I actually have it on now. It is a matte finish as well. And um, I got the color Coco. It was only $15, which is great compared to most prices of foundations. And um, I think in some other stores, it's like $7. So um, I noticed that I like... I like it a lot. Um, it does keep the oil controlled. I don't get really shiny during the day and you can't beat the price. So I did want to throw in the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in case anybody was wondering about that. And then my final thing that I wanted to um, just throw in there is this brush. This is the Tarte, um, let's see, let me tell you the proper name for it. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice again. I'm still getting over the flu. So it's the Tarte, I'm going to say airbrush finish foundation brush. But anyway, this brush, I really, really like it. You know, I never realized how much brushes make a difference when applying your makeup. And this foundation brush like works really well. It leaves your skin like I think the foundation looks really smooth like an airbrush finish. So um, I noticed a difference when I was applying with this brush versus with the um, like a beauty blender or some of the other brushes. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. That was just my quick review of those products that I've been using for a few weeks that I wanted to kind of let you know. Um, again, with the Givenchy lip gloss, the only thing that I don't like about it is that it leaks around it. But the actual gloss is it's really nice and it lasts it lasts for a good while too so um if you like reviews about different products then please like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time thanks bye bye